Hello everyone. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as a Ukraine. And I've been giving this a little bit more thro thought. Not thought. Thought. But before I give you my thoughts, let me pronounce the Ukraine one more time. Ukraina. And Slava Ukraini. There you go. I think I'm pr pronouncing these words a little bit better. Anyways, so here are my thoughts. We have a couple divisions. Now, obviously, I tried to add artillery on these divisions yesterday. We're only making a little bit less than two a day. And we really need about 1,100 pieces of artillery. Now, that's not good. We've got a couple extra guns. So, I figure, how about we actually just go ahead and make a division that mostly uses almost just infantry battalions. You know, guns. For this division, we would need some support equipment, which... We don't have any. All we have are motorized pieces as well as guns. That's pretty much all we have. Maybe a few fighters, but that's pretty much it. So, hmm, if I could, really the only thing that we could really do is just to make another one of these divisions. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to throw on another artillery battalion, another infantry battalion. Even though that's not great, it does help you with more defense more breakthrough, and does give you a little bit more HP and, I guess, oppression. So, really, I've been thinking about this, and, my goodness, because Lithuania has shown their true colors, we're going to need a couple extra divisions, so I'm, I don't mind doing this right now. So, guns, they definitely went down. We really need a lot more artillery, as well as guns, which is really, really unfortunate. We make about 2.17 a day, so... Um, no real comments from yesterday's video, which is totally fine. And now we need a lot more guns. Hmm. Not good. If anything, really, I, I suppose I could sacrifice the artillery just a little bit if I do this. Because I definitely need more guns every day. So, maybe balance that out a little bit more. Really need to make more factories, but my approach, like I said before, is to just keep building. I'm not going to stop building things at all. Just have to keep building, 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 building. Right now we're trading a few divisions, which is nice. Do this. Put everyone over here. I guess for now. That'll be fine. Oh yeah. And yesterday someone told me about Dandre Andre Melnak or Melnik. We found him here. He's a field marshal. He has a couple upgrades, perhaps. It's a little laggy. That's okay. And actually he he's actually not terrible because unlike Pavlo Skoropatsky, he's not an old guard, which is really good to have. Even though Skoropatsky does have defensive doctrine. God dang it, whoops. Did not mean to switch him around. Yeah, we have a lot of divisions that use this template. The fire support and the regular infantry, so that's interesting. But this world has definitely not gone the way I was thinking at all. See, Ottoman Empire is not doing well right now. But then again, the Kingdom of Spain didn't have a civil war. Oh no. Russia announces her ambitions. And Russia is justifying against us. Now Russia, what are you doing? They're doing the caucus direction. Which means no one likes them. And the question of Don Kuban Union. Oh, they get cores on that stuff. Germany's busy demand concessions. That's not good. Right now, how much do we need? We need about a thousand. Quite literally a thousand guns. We make about two a day. Um, for you guys, go and stop training. You guys are pretty much well trained enough. Just give me as many pieces as possible. Give me all the artillery. Give me all the guns that you can possibly give me. White Ruthenia, what are you up to? We've already had the United Baltic Duchy having a problem. Lithuania already broke free. You are a social democrat under Oladzimir the first. Social democrats. What? They're going with king and they're going with democracy. Interesting. Democracy. In which they're going mostly just social democrat, it looks like. And it incentivized cooperatives, create a national healthcare system, social market economy. Oh, okay, cool. So at least they're not going syndicalist, which is fine with me. So if they went syndicalist or anything like that, that'd be a little difficult. There goes Honduras. Oh, okay. Assert independence from Germany. Oh, Cuba joined the Reichs Pact. They claimed our lands. No. Ultimatum to the Ukraine. No. Claim Russian lands. Now, that's kind of ballsy. But then again, we're going to be fighting them anyways. Just keep producing stuff, guys. Ooh, it looks like they might have actually completed another factor since we were looking. 
Oh boy. Just, Don Kaban Union, if we get into a war with the Russians, I hope you're ready. It doesn't look like you're ready, though. Oh, man. Divisions, otherwise, they just need artillery. That's really what they need. Right now, you know what? I'm going to do this. I want those extra divisions out. Because here's the plan. When we go to war with Russia, we have to hold the front line. That's the most obvious thing that we have to do. With that in mind, though, Lithuania might be a very small problem. So our goal is to hold the line as best we can. And then crush Lithuania. And then send divisions to the, the Russian front to help against the Russians. Even though their divisions overall seem... A little weaker than ours if you do it one-to-one. -one. That's very interesting. But anyways, we just did a global Ukraine, which is good. Oh, we can do splendid isolation. That would be kind of suicidal, to be frank with you, because if Russia declared war upon us, me versus Russia, we're not going to win immediately, right? Ties with Germany. I could do that, which would, hurt, which would help our military just a little bit, as well as our industry a tiny, tiny bit, but Blue Danube, Ruthenian claims... The Galician question, no, 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 no. So, we're still waiting for this to complete. Something that could really help us right now is new Ukrainian army. The army of the Ukraine is in as poor condition as the kingdom itself. Although the Black Monday crisis made us reduce the military budget, we still have many money, or enough money, to launch new reforms, which will allow us to reorganize the Ministry of Defense. It's time to assert our independent military might and secure our borders from Ukraine's numerous rivals. In which I'll probably go with Thunder and Lightning, which sounds great, great, great. And we're out of manpower again. Which is actually no problem since we just completed a global Ukraine. So we get 2% more recruitable population, as well as a better division recovery rate. So even though we're out of manpower, we're still mobilizing more men. Even though we do need to get rid of Hetman's army. That is something we must get rid of. Guns are doing much better. We get about almost 10 a day, and almost 2 a day for artillery pieces. So that's not terrible. Encryption? Well, let's get some more decryption now. But it's good to see right now that Russia, even though they have a much greater industrial base than us, their divisions really aren't ready for war either, which is a little bit calming, I will say. Resources, we've already discussed resources. For now, let's go ahead and... I would like to do another radar station. I haven't even built one yet. But let's do that because I believe that, that if we can do that, then that would help us defensively if we're defending against the Russians. Indo-Chinese Union declared war on the Kingdom of Siam. Now, that's interesting. Let's see what happens there. AOG is still fighting the Republic of China, but they're winning. Interesting. Um, these Nepal is getting destroyed on two sides. We have... We've finished building another ship. Experimental carrier. Oh, no. Oh, goodness gracious. There's so many things here. Ah. Oh. Um. I wasn't really going to think about the Navy too much in this campaign. But it looks like I'm going to have to. We just made an FBB. Uh, oh, a fast battleship. Yeah, those are okay. I don't really know the Kaiserreich naval meta that well. But I'll do what I can. So, I want to focus on subs, but I don't think that would really help us too much. Let's see if we can get some sort of cruiser. These My current cruisers are screens. That's not bad. That's pretty good then. Right? Light guns. Oh, that's, why would you put destroyer guns on light cruisers? Why, my friends? Why? So let's go get some more screens. Even though these really aren't very good whatsoever. Improved light ship hull, but... Plane manipulation. Less HP and less reliability? No, thank you. Guns? No. No, 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 no. no. We definitely need rapid-fire guns, but put on a light cruiser battery. And then... Torpedoes are, are pretty darn good. I forget... I want to assume that the naval meta currently is still heavily dependent on torpedoes, but I really like these catapult planes. Give us more anti-air, more deck size, more surface detection, more surface or sub detection as well, and more anti-air. I think that will probably be good to do. Let's get some more rapid fire guns on these bad boys. Some light cruiser batteries, even more attack and piercing. Anti-air is going to be whatever it is. Bink, you okay? You okay? I'm also joining you by my cat named Bink. He's on my bed right now. He's just kind of... Kind of bored. It's kind of cold. I'll be honest, it's very cold where I live right now. Or, it's not very cold. It's just cold. And I'm not <laughs> used to this weather right now since it's... It was summer for a while, and now it's like... Oh, I wake up and it's freezing. Or at least I feel like it's freezing. But whatever. That's just me. That's where I live. 
Cool. So we're making some cruisers. I think in Kaiserreich, the battleships that they already give you, the Dreadnoughts, they're not bad at all. They're just very slow. They're very, very slow, which is a problem. Reliability is... It's okay. Armor is very good. But heavy attack, heavy piercing is pretty darn good as well, even though I would like more piercing on this thing. But whatever. Um, we have fuel f full on fuel, so let's go ahead and train these guys. Uh, repair if you need to. And currently, I saw this. We have some destroyers that need repairs. Okay. Yeah, I don't ever use destroyers. Almost never. Even though they, they do have their role in the meta. Right now, doing much better on guns, doing better on artillery. I'm, I'm thankful for that. But I'm just interested to see what Russia's going to do. We no longer get the effects of increased tax taxation. So we might have lost a civilian factory here. But let's see. Even though Germany refused to grant us loans, we didn't even ask them. Our government has finally been able to electrify virtually all of the villages in central Ukraine through increased taxation, greatly improving the agricultural yields of our peasant farms. As a result of this, and our previous measures, Ukraine has finally begun to recover from the crushing effects of Black Monday. So we get more infrastructure and plus 10% to stability, which is great. Also, I have some coffee here, so I want to drink some of that coffee in just a little bit, please. Oh, wait, they sent volunteers to the Pacific States. How's the war going? Well, the American Union state is still holding on for now. But the Pacific States do seem a little bit formidable. If I were playing as any one of these nations, I would just stop attacking in any one direction and focus on taking out the enemy. Um, integrated support, di dispersed support. I always do integrated support. It just, in my opinion, that's always better. Now, we have made a new division. I don't know if this is artillery or not. It looks like it is. Great. But, I'm going to leave you a little bit separated for now. Uh, these guys, why do you have to be politically connected? You only lose 10%. Kachi. 10% leader experience gain. Kachi. What is Kachi? Hmm. Um, Hills Fighter... Give me that reconnaissance, boy. You will help guard against Lithuania for now. Yeah, I just need at least a few divisions to help guard against them. We have more than enough political power, which I kind of forgot about. I would like to do extensive conscription, since we will probably need more manpower, but obviously we can't do that. We have to be at war. Um, I would love to do war economy, but we need more than 50% war support. Are there any decisions that we can take? We could make our party a little bit more popular to get more political power, but... We'll see what happens. Guns? Mm, that's okay. Military staff. Really? I'm going to do probably Mikhail Omlyanovich Pavlenko. Pavlenko. Probably, or someone like that. Just because I need infantry attack and defense and a slightly a large amount of manpower. Um, interesting. The Nikita Khrushchev is still here. Interesting. Division attack. Hmm... Yeah, yeah, this is going to be a hard decision to make. I wish I could just make more artillery. That's what I want. That's just what I want. More artillery. Tanks, I'm not even going to think about tanks, ships, planes. I just want more tanks. And if anything right now, these two only give us benefits to motorize, which we're not even using. So, really, infantry equipment is probably the best thing to make. They give you a slightly more breakthrough soft attack and stuff like that. Air Force. What about theorists? Land doctrine. Yeah, that's nice. Mm, for right now, we could lose some output. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to solidify control. That's for what, 0 0.05 more political power? And that's not worth it. I'm just going to go ahead and do infantry equipment manu manufacture. I think that would probably be for the best, unless we lose a little bit more of our su own supplies and go immediately to free trade, because that will give us 5% more construction speed, a little bit more research output, more factory output, as well as more dockyard output. Could I really use that output? Yes. But that could hurt our industry, but screw it. Just go with this. It Just because you take one decision doesn't mean they're all bad. There's just, there's always pros and cons to everything. Ah, uh, coffee. But, man, look at those Lithuanian divisions. They're pretty strong, and they already have some Russian divisions here as well. All right, Bibi? You okay? Yeah, Bibi. So I hope you guys are all having a great day today. Under We have Simon Petlira. Petlira. Interesting. Yeah, maybe. Kovno. Interesting flag. Paternal autocrats. Even though they have this word, I don't... These two words I don't know how to pronounce. Pesky trade unions and the work federation in the way. The economy of Lithuania has now been molded into a much more corporate and capable form. They don't have a lot of divisions, which is good to see. 
And these Russian divisions, do they have they have artillery support companies? That's interesting. Do you have it as well? Yes. They look kind of th like thick divisions, though. And Lithuanian divisions, I don't see exactly where there's just one, but there's two here. They also probably will have some sort of artillery support, recon support, which is actually really good for them, but not good for us. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh boy, hold on. So the Russia looks like they just finished their focus, and they're now moving probably cl closer to the Don Kuban Union. Now let's see what happens here. Yeah, do that. Do that. Yeah. Put you on medium. Put all these things on medium. That's really probably for our best bet. We just need so much artillery. We need so many guns now. We're almost done making another factory, though. That's good. That's good. Hopefully when we get into the war, our allies will give us more... Um, equipment, because that's going to be extremely necessary. Now, most of, most of the time when I play Kaiserreich, as of, you know, recent, the Ottoman Empire usually wins their war, but we'll see what happens since the Ottomans now have to bunch up their divisions together, making it more difficult for their enemies, you know, Persia, the Mashriki Kingdom, and the Saudis, to see if they can bust through those Ottoman lines. We'll see what happens, though. I forgot that Bulgaria was still at Serbia, and of course, like normal, the Serbs are not giving up without a huge fight with a massive fight um no Japan no this is not cool why no 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 why do you have to go to war with the Dutch East Indies this is not base game vanilla do not touch touch those Indies they are not yours please if anything I would much prefer you attack Russia but I don't think that's going to happen this playthrough who are you who are you Chichibu Yasuhito Oh, they're going to find the Coast of Prosperity Sphere. Interesting. Um, superior Firepower. That's interesting that they went that direction. Alliance with the Philippines. Alliance with Hawaii with Siam. Okay. Okay. Another division. This looks like it is another 20 combat with division. Nice. Throw those four divisions over there against the Lithuanians. I'm glad that there's a major river between us here and White Ruthenia. Or... Yeah, White Ruthenia around here. And then we don't exactly have a line, a river to hide behind here. It's not good. Right, Bink? You're back on my bed? Yeah, baby. Bink. Okay, new Ukrainian army. Very good. And let's go ahead. We could do Thunder and Lightning. Let's do taxes for industrialization to help us get through this as quick as possible. Electricity is available all over the central Ukraine. Now it's time to rebuild industry in the eastern part of the country. All the factories built by the Tsar's government should be modernized as fast as possible. And that's why we have to raise taxes again, even though... We already spent taxes for electrification. Hmm. I guess there's always an upkeep cost for, you know, building things. Lose a little bit more stability, but only 6% this time. But we get a massive boost to consumer goods factories. Yes, please. I need that very badly. We're almost done building civilian factories, which is good. Then I'm going to, for a while, only focus on military factories. Because that's going to be very, very, very important. Especially when producing a ton of guns. Just... Tons of guns, and look at that manpower. I'm feeling a little bit better about our manpower, which is great. Militarily right now, not feeling great about all this stuff. But we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. It looks like a lot of the Russian divisions left. What is Russia up to now? We have to keep an eye on Russia. A movable feast. Okay, they get more factory outputs to war support. Some more stability. And then research speed. The Great Library. Hmm. Well, I'm glad they stopped moving with the do question of the Don Kuban Union, or the Cossacks are. But I hope that's a warning to you guys, because you got to figure out that you might need more than 33 divisions and a little bit more than that manpower, but that's just us. Of course, they have an internal crisis, as well as initial stabilization. Also, where did White Ruthenia have their claims? Gomel? Um, Zetomir? Just Gomel and Brest. Well, I would like Moser as well as Pinsk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. It's weird to see. I turn around right now, and Pinky's just looking right over here. Pink, you, you want your chair back? Usually, right now, he likes sitting in the chair that I'm currently in. As we're kind of waiting for things to happen, and we only have 60 days left of fuel. Right, Pink? Yep, and he wants to sit in my chair. God dang it, Pink. Now I have to be on my knees for you, Pink. But that's why we love him. Right, Bink? Also, probably, if you're watching this in the future, I might have passed 1,000 subs. But when I hit 1,000 subs, I'll probably do a video and show to you 
who the heck my cat is. Who actually is the Bink. The Binky. Cool. Um, yeah, just there's really not much that we can do now. Looks like we might have just got another factory, which is great. Alright, Bink, you don't need to claw my chair. Oh, we're getting close. We've got another military factory. Good. We have three factories and guns. I am just savoring each and every factory factory we get. I could get more tungsten, but whenever you have to buy resources, it only goes up by eight at a time. And since it's only at three, I don't really see a point in doing that right now. Oh, what just happened? What? We lost two more civilian factories. Maybe we were trading with somebody and they took their factories away. Maybe. Maybe. How, oh, I'm still training these. Oh, I'm training both of you at the same time? That's a, not a great idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Ottomans. I mean, I suppose I could help the Ottomans out. I could send them volunteers, but... Uh, I don't have the industry for it. And we already have 23 army XP. Don't think it'd really be worth it to waste our manpower down there right now. 1939. This is getting a little more... Um, Interesting. Let's go to this first industry for more output. And then we'll get some more construction speed. That'd be good. 0.73 political power a day. We still have the issue of the Russian language, but that's going to take a while. It looks like Serbia might be coming back. Hmm. Good coffee. Good, good stuff. Yeah, Serbia. You you were a little thinner earlier. What is their strength like not a lot of manpower left versus no manpower left okay interesting <gasps> nice go ahead just build more military factories we got we need those bad boys nice keep building that area up you don't want to build stuff too close to the border though um more lines of that stuff 50 percent 50 percent 50 percent good 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 Soon we'll have more, 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 and more military factories. Right, Bink? That's right. That's right. Very good. But this is a year that we are going to go down and not have a good, good, super fun time with the commune of France and her allies. What are they up to right now? Mass conscription. I can see why they could use mass conscription. Germany, you are up to restore the Bundesrat. You are social democrats. Um, democracy in Prussia, women's suffrage, found reforms, Albania. Okay. Oh wait, they actually went with bailout the Junker estates. Usually when I play or play Kaiserreich, Germany goes with liquidate unprofitable estates. But interesting, interesting. Right, Pink? Um, yeah, that's a little different than what I normally see Germany do. Yeah, we have no claims on Don Kuban Union territory, but that's okay. So that's very interesting to see that Serbia will probably end up completely in a war against the Dona Adriabun, perhaps. Even though Albania went to war with Serbia. But, uh, yeah, that doesn't make too much sense. Taxes for industrialization. Binky wants out of my room. Just give me one quick moment here. See you later, Binky. Bye-bye. All right, so we now have electricity all over the Ukraine or for more industrialization next up we definitely could use more resource gain and production efficiency cap resources would be great to have though do we really really need aluminum no more tungsten would help with our artillery production um let's do new resources our government has finally been able to electrify all the villages in central Ukraine. As a result, our peasants will be able to produce more agricultural goods and supplies now. We also need more resources to fuel our nation's recovery and create the tools to do it. Yes, absolutely. Positively, we must do this. As I just finished up my coffee. Awesome. Oh, 40, 40 uh, factories, thank you. And we have that 15% increased taxes or 15% minus consumer goods factories great 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 we're gonna use those and abuse those as much as humanly possible just to produce 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 when you're d done and you're dying always just keep producing 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 just keep making things keep making more 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 things 14 guns a day not bad 14 and a half um, supplies we're doing we're getting better and better on artillery guns well we could use quite a few guns for the divisions in the field, 
We still need tanks. Let me go ahead and remove that. We really don't need you here. 12 combat width. Um, go ahead and replace it with that for now. That really won't matter too much. I don't think you need that much motorized equipment there. If I put on another one, that'll increase the cost of everything else, so I'm not going to increase anything more. Ooh. Looks like we completed another military factory. Good, 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 good. That'll be actually very, very good. Yeah. Ooh. It's February still. February. 17 guns a day. Good. Oh, wait. I guess I missed this, but Flanders, Valonia, kind of split into Flanders and Valonia. Huh. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. In fact, Valonia. Now, as much as we love the Valonians, or Walloons, I don't know about inviting the socialists. You might want to invite the Catholics, even though we are Ukrainian and we're, we prefer Orthodox people. We might say that the Catholics are better than socialists, but, you know, we can still... You know, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know. Reform Belgian claims. Give up our Belgian claims. Well, it doesn't look like... Oh, war games on the Flemish border. At least it doesn't look like they're going to have a war between each other. They didn't go with a syndicalist revolution. They went with reform into a republic, which is probably better for us to a degree. I just wish there was more war. Usually there's a war that Germany gets into early game, whether that be against Denmark, or the Netherlands, or Belgium, or even, you know, the Indo-Chinese Union, or something like that. It just, there's been no war, so I can't get more supplies. Oh, oh, that's right. Don't know Adrian Boone's at war with Serbia. Now they're getting walloped by the Romanians. Oh, and the Austrians, and the Germans. Oh, baby. Now, if we're going to use our political power, you know what? There's really not much else that we can do here. We could get more population, but we don't really need that right now. So, I know I said this was kind of a waste earlier, but since we have the political power... Uh, you know what? No, I'm, not, I'm still not doing this. I need as much output right now as possible. I'm not going to do that. If we had more political power, what could we else do? Well, that stability isn't good. Same monthly ideology thing. Um, land forts, I'm not... Probably not going to make too many land forts. Actually, that's not bad. Cloak and Dagger Schemer. Okay, Persia joined the Cairo Pact. Oh, they made... They ended hostilities. Oh, the Ottoman Empire is defeated. Kurdistan is here now. Interesting. Chief of the Army. I'm probably just going to do Division Defense for the most part, because we're going to need to defend, defend, all, all hell. Australasian, Australasian Guard Coup. How unexpected. The fall of Bangkok. Okay. Well... That's interesting. We don't like each other, though. Factional rivalry. Different ideology. National populist. National populist. I guess national populists really don't care for each other. That would make sense, I guess, to a degree. But yeah, that's a really sad Ottoman Empire. That's very, very sad. Looks like the Saudis got a little part of Iraq. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. That's very, very unfortunate. Persia definitely expanded a little bit more into Azerbaijan and Van. Oh, Kurdistan, you would love to have this timeline, I bet, right now. And, of course, Egypt, I have Syria, and, and, of course, the Levant. Oof. Just oof. Oh, there's Albania. You're not even connected. Um, ships, how are you doing? Oops, my bad. Click right there, make it a little bit slower, perhaps. You're not doing, you're not bad. Go ahead and repair. For everyone that needs a repair, just go ahead and do that. Save a little bit on our fuel. It's April 2nd. We're almost done getting and acquiring new resources. Our guns aren't doing super great. And neither is artillery, but that's pretty normal. Ooh, we're going to have another division with artillery very soon. Which will be great. Especially guarding against the Lithuanians. Uh, um, it looks like we'll be okay with the Lithuanians. Go ahead and throw you on here. We're going to need more divisions around here anyways. And that actually helps us out with putting our division somewhere else. This is not looking great for anyone, really. Oh, but more factories, good. Just keep producing, guys. Produce, produce, produce. Nice, we have another factory on artillery. That's great. But I might really honestly need more factories for guns. New resources, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and do revive agriculture so that we can get four more military factories in the end. So, our main aim was to turn Ukraine into the breadbasket of Europe and an indispensable partner to Germany and the Reichspact. On the contrary, 
we become even more dependent on German goods after Black Monday and our trade deficit widened significantly. Now we must reconstruct our national agricultural market using our industry and new agricultural tools to end this sorry state of affairs. We must be more and more independent. That is a mandatory must. Kurdistan. Does Kurdistan have its own focus chief? I never li really liked this flag. I don't know much about the Kurds, but this seems kind of... It's okay. I wish it was a little bit more... Interesting, I suppose. No, they don't have a, their own focus tree. That's kind of disappointing. But then again, not everything can be super interesting. You must balance it out with super interesting things versus some things that are just not super interesting. Uh, let's see how's this going. We're doing okay with our interwar cruiser hull. Doing okay with it. Um, yeah, there's really not much else to go on with at the moment. We have enough political power. I might save my political power for now since we really don't need to use... Emilian Volk, Volok. Since we're not at war right now for infantry attack, defense, and more recruitable population, there might be something in the future that we really, really need to spend our political power on since we have half a million manpower right now. There's really no immediate need to solidify control or really anything else. If there was a way for me to get more war support, I totally would, but world tension isn't high enough. And before we leave for today, yeah, the American Union State is looking... Pretty sad, but they're not giving up without a fight. The combined syndicates, they're not really trying to kill off the Pacific states too much, which is good to see. It looks like the Brazilians are helping out the Pacific states. Um, let's see, who's helping each other? So, the CSA is getting volunteers from Mexico, as well as Communist France. The Pacific states are getting help from Brazil and Russia. And the American United States getting help from Germany only. Push against syndicalists. Okay. I'm sure they all have push against Pacific, and then you have a push against the longest. Interesting. So, with that in mind, there's really not much else, not much else we can do here right now. There's another Melbourne uprising, uh, and then they went cynicalist. Okay, then. But really, we're just producing more, 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 more. We're trying to make more guns, more artillery, and other than that, not much else has happened. But in the next episode, we're probably going to be at war with the Commune of France, even though. Oh my goodness, Austria has gotten thick. And they could be a potential good ally for a while. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. And I will see you tomorrow as we probably will be in the second Valkyrie. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great, great day.